Now let's take a look at a compressor that has a shorted winding. And the shorted winding is when this the compressor motor windings fail internally and they short together internally. They don't short to the case or to ground, but they short together internally. And remember on the good compressor, we had the total of the from the common to the start and then you measure common to run you add those two together you measure from start to run and that should be the total of these two legs so let's take a look at the grounded or shorted winding in a compressor so we turn our meter to ohms make sure the power is disconnected we've isolated the compressor and we are going to start once again at the common to the run and we have 0 0.2 0 0.0 ohms ohm, ohm meter jumps around a little bit but it is less than one ohm um, usually the run winding is going to be two three four ohms that's it but here we're reading uh, almost zero so let's go ahead and check the start common to start and we have one ohm and you remember that on a on a good on a good compressor common to start is going to be up there about 8 10 maybe 12 ohms total so one ohm is not good should never be measuring less than 2 ohms in on any winding on a compressor let's go start to run and again we have one ohm so so this is how what a uh, compressor looks like with shorted internally shorted windings of the motor it's going to be re measuring very low resistance they're not going to add up properly from common to start common to run and start to run and you you could have some different readings in this but they're going to all be off and they're going to all be very very low